All right. Good morning, guys. JW Tifa here, and we need to work on well-being because it got really low all of a sudden, and we have dis diseased Sims wandering around. So, let's look at quests. I don't think any. Maybe that, but oh, I don't. I don't want to do this. I, d I just don't. I just don't want to do this. There's got to be. Hey, a wedding. A delightful wedding gives three hearts. We don't have anyone else. Oh no, that's counterspelling. Counterspelling is three hearts. This only gives one heart and two security. <sighs> Invasion. Nope. I don't even know what that is, but nope. Nope. Turn it. That gives one heart. I don't even know what this is. Of all the strange tales shared in Westeros, the Fountain of Legend was the most told, a miraculous a miraculous pool that granted every wish to those who could find it. Many have tried in vain to find proof of its existence. But what if someone actually did find it? What wonders would await that worthy soul? Hmm. People are born with both light and dark sides. Sounds like Game of Thrones. <laughs> Wait, I scroll down too much. Some cannot overcome their baser nature, others dare not try, but heroes are defined by overcoming adversity difficult path, but the rewards are great indeed. Who shall discard the imperfect trappings of everyday life and seek to become a legend? A legendary trait is available in this quest. Ooh, legendary trait. Okay. Okay. So I was looking at achievements because we have, like, none. And one of the achievements was, like, have 15, have 15 people with the, um, legendary trait. I don't know if that's possible. But this gives at least one well-being, and it seems pretty. And we can play with anyone. Anyone with a fatal flaw. Okay, cool. Let's let's see. The poor shopkeeper hasn't been played. Sure, magic fountain's interesting, but so is pulling my finger. What's the point when I'm already doomed to fail? There's a mill in this for me if I help, right? Why would anyone want me to go on a quest? Well, they're level fours, and she's a level three. Let's play with shopkeeper Mason. We haven't played with him. I believe in him. And then supporting role, of course, the monarch. And we're going. If I remember right, he has a pretty bad trait anyway. Wiping away crumbs, shopkeeper Mason could not ignore the gnawing hunger in the pit of his stomach, nor the thought to full platter of perfectly grilled meat. That was until a brilliant vision appeared of an ancient fountain sparkling in a forgotten glade, momentarily washing away any desires to locate a fully stocked larder. He is 956. He's fully awake, for whatever reason. He's a glutton. Okay. And he has, like... He's, like, no good things going on right now. Who is this guy? Not important. I can't open. Ada. Do I make things? I don't even know what the merchant does. I guess I don't make things. Hmm. So I just buy things to sell, maybe? Yep. I'm clicking on everything. It's not working. Let's start merchandise. We're not going down now. We're not going anywhere. And I should probably stop that, right? Well, have a mill. I'm gonna go shopping. 
investigate today's market at whatever time it is. But, and look at that. Look at how fast the energy went down. Doesn't look like there are any hot items up for sale right now. Oh. Well, you go back and buy things anyway. He hates me. Because <laughs> we need to buy food. Onions are always good. I don't know if I can do anything with cabbage. Apple, wheat, five. Pigeon. Look at all the food we got. And now we go home. We go beddy bed. And we try again tomorrow. I keep hitting relax. Because I keep thinking sleep is there. Look at this. Look at my chickens. Oh. Is she in the crate or just chilling? She's just chilling. And he's like, I love you. And she doesn't care. <laughs> we'll have a meal in the morning and everything will be okay. I wonder if it's... Mm, that's not good. I wonder if it's playing off the fact that he's a glutton or if everyone has to have a meal. But I feel like it probably plays on your fatal flaw. At least you're well rested. Maybe when you get some good food. Like onion soup. He doesn't have a chair or anything to eat at. He has to go down and out here. Oh, no, here's a table here. So sad. <laughs> Brewer. There's Poet Richard. <laughs> I'm starting to know some of these people. Alright. Okay, Mill made him pretty good. He's slightly focused, at least. The vision of the fountain returned unbidden by shopkeeper Mason, accompanied now by a soothing, ethereal voice. Poor broken soul, your torture has been endured too long. If your desire to be cleansed is true, and your heart is equal to the task, come seek me out, for I will remake you. I have such power. You can be better, pure, stronger. The prophecy faded as quickly as it came, leaving shopkeeper Mason wondering what it meant. Ask a townsperson about Fountain. Luckily, there are like 800 people here. And then, I've talked to Lady Jenna about the vision. Makes sense. I can hear the chicken louder than anything in my headset. <laughs> okay. That is quite a story, Shopkeeper Mason, but I'm sorry. I try not to meddle in portents and visions. However, that bit about the fountain? I recently heard a fable going around town of a sparkling fountain granting the wishes of a lost farmer. Or was it a wandering monk? And a pond of everlasting youth. Mayhaps you should locate one of them. Peasant. Virtuous monk. Well, we only have the Jacobin priest, and I'm sure it won't take us to him anyway. Let's do peasant. But first, discuss the vision with Lady Jenna. And at least our performance is going up. And now I have to have another mill. Wow. You will have another mill when you're Good and freaking hungry. It's taking forever to load. Whoa, and he's already here. And there's Heloise. She just see she just loves her. She doesn't even stay with her husband. Okay. Find the fabled peasant. Hell, shopkeeper Mason, a strange voice and an image of a fountain? It sounds as if you've been selected for a personal quest. I don't know how I can help, and truthfully, am much too busy to go chasing dreams. 
I've always found benefit from delving into the past, so my advice is to learn more through study. Luck be with you. Let's do it while we're here. Mason can read the following books. Barbarian Invasions, A Survival Guide, Anatomy of a Chinchilla, Past, Present, and Future, Either You Do or You Don't, Faith-Based, How to Smother Yourself in the New Peter and Faith, Inscription, Inception, Westeros, A History of the Kingdom of Warning the Plague, Like the Plague. Beautiful books. So find and read a book of fables at the village shop. Darn it. Okay. Let's... Ruler, I'm taking your bath. I'm trying to get him. His focus just a little bit better. I'm not surprised the bookshelf has no titles referencing legends of a fountain. Fiction stories by nature do not have much practical use. The story is a popular one in the village and the shop. There is always getting out. And the shop there is always getting items from wandering travelers. That may be a better place for me to look for anything that will illuminate my vision. Whoops. Okay, and now we have, I need to compliment the taste of two customers, and ask two customers to buy. So I definitely need to go to the shop and get some stuff. I'm enjoying the cozy fire. Oh, everything's going great right now. Yes. Oh, wait. Nope. You don't see nothing. I don't know where the queen went. Luckily not here, though. Maybe off to perform her duties. Yep. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. I had a great Thanksgiving. I am exhausted. It is like Sunday and I have been super busy since Wednesday. <laughs> and finally it's kind of like my first day to just chill. So I'm recording. Even though I already have 500 different assignments that need to be due. We're just not worrying about those right now. He is taking forever. Let's... Okay. Okay. Good. He's feeling much better. Let's go to the village shops. That was a really pretty zoom out. Let's investigate today's market and see if we cannot buy some stuff to sell. Then we'll have to eat. Speaking to the local merchants, the following merchandise is in high demand. I can buy a ferris hammer, grassweed, and frog. Okay. Ferris hammer, grassweed, frog. Ferrers. I don't think I'm pronouncing that word right, but it's a weird word. Okay, le <laughs> don't make fun of me. Okay. Frogs. That is eighty dollars. <sighs> Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Where's where's grassweed? What's I'm gonna forget things. I just know it. Can't even find that hammer. Fair no, no, we need the hammer. Not the Okay. Good, because that was expensive. Buy items. Available funds. Nothing. Let's go home. Yes, I know. I'm trying. We'll have a good dinner. And then we'll sell some stuff. And then everything will be okay. Okay, let's... Onion soup is safe. And you better not, better not set that down. Let someone else eat that. He's hungry enough. He should eat it, I think. Plus, he's a glutton. I feel like he would never set aside food. Okay, good. Nom, nom, nom. Alrighty then. Check. Merchandise. Turn it. We can all go in there. 
Mastiff, Mazu, Aben, Brim, Beam, Vetum, Gory, there, thank you. What? Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. Open for business. Okay, no. Compliment the taste of two customers. I kind of need customers. Can I make you a customer? No interactions available. Compliment taste. Because no one else is here. Yay! Go to her. And now I have to ask two customers to buy. We have to butter up. We're gonna make sure that she realizes that, you know, we're good people. <laughs> Yay, it's going up. I have good traits. I can discuss adventures. She'd try like this. And then we'll ask to buy goods. Bald man, where'd you go? Need to better you up. I think it worked. She bought something. Yay. Oh, I got a loan from it. Awesome. Here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He doesn't like me. Let's joke about the kingdom. I don't think me and this guy are gonna get along. This is not working. Okay. So we move along. This person, yes. Celestria will be nice to us, maybe. Discuss adventures. Let's be funny. Let's do an impersonation. <laughs> Call him a taste. Friendly gossip. She's vain. Maybe now we can. Nope. Okay. Compliment taste. And just by Nicole swears that she saw a dragon out in the forest when going on a hunt. A dragon. Wow. These people. Tell a dramatic story. Look, we have six hours left and he's freaking hungry again. Oh, this guy. Yay. Everyone's buying grass weed. Hopefully this is getting thicker. He still has the good focus from the other food. Oh, oh. Oh, Who are you? Farseer Donner. Donna. Can't talk, guys. Look at... He's, he looks so weird now. I need to play him and get him back in his normal clothes. This guy eats way too much. Can I just leave this or do I have to close it or anyway, we're just gonna crap. My peasant is <laughs> locked away. Okay, well we can read this book. We can yeah. Yeah, we're just chilling here. Read this book. Read this book about fables. I don't know. I think just to get people... I think to have people buy, he has to, like, make them buy. I don't think anyone actually 
just browses and buys. Which kind of sucks, because that means I have to do work. Sorry, the mouse is going everywhere. I was trying to shift positions. Okay. My cat's over here like, I need in your lap. Oh. The fable, while an entertaining read, did not provide much in the way of details on how to locate the fountain itself. A large portion of the story seems to be missing, and the remaining tale appeared authored in several different voices. Hmm. So I pretty much got to find this duty. And unfortunately, oh, no. Fortunately, he's in the stocks. So, I mean, I'd have to wait. Let's go ahead and walk here, though. Maybe they'll, um, whatever. Okay. As shopkeeper Mason arrived on the hill that housed the gruesome implements of the kingdom's justice, he noticed several unfamiliar figures miserably imprisoned in the stocks. Upon a closer inspection, shopkeeper Mason recognized the figure from the peasant's earlier description. A sudden flare of pain reminded him that their continued well-being was his only chance to figure out the vision. Who are you? Your blessed Bertrand the monk. And Carlton the peasant. And your good peasant Hector. So I have to go. Ask Lady Jenna to release good peasant Hector. Okay. Finished a book. Not every book into the happily ever after, but hey, I'm glad I can read. Awesome. She's still kneeling at the throne. Or whatever. <gasps> so tired, guys. I'm sorry. That took forever. Lady Jenna, I need you to release people. I cannot just let good peasant Hector run free despite your standing in Lester as shopkeeper Mason. He violated our laws and justice must be served, otherwise the kingdom will descend to lawlessness. However, if someone would be willing to take its place in the stocks or cover the fine, only then can I authorize his proper release. Well, I have no monies. So... Uh, I'll do the time. R request prisoner exchange from royal advisor. Marabella. Focus is so good right now, though. It's about to suck. We're still not even in gold. I understand you intend to replace one of the prisoners held in stocks. Why would you ever want to intentionally subjugate yourself to that love rotten egg? No, never mind. It's none of my business, nor do I care. I just work here. I will just need to ink your name on the world documents waiting at my scribe table. Okay. Can I have a... Can I have a... Good meal first. You better eat it. Dude, you about lost your pigeon? Where is he going? Okay, whatever. There was a table. Time to roll a warrant. <laughs> and now I request release. Right? Well, I'm supposed to give Roy a pardon, but I'm assuming that's like the same thing. I'm tired, but at least I had a good meal. <laughs> Fresh meat for the stocks, eh? One moment, and the constable will be here to escort you up the hill. I'll release you, good peasant Hector. Uh oh, looks like Mason's in trouble. The constable's coming to arrest him. Alright, I wonder how long this will last. Get entries from Good Prison Hector. Can I talk to him? While I'm in the stocks? I don't think I can. 
Yeah. So we literally have to sit like this. I know good cousin Hector is not throwing stuff at me. Oh, I released you, sir. Okay. Thank you for all you've done, shopkeeper Mason. As I was entering Westeros, a shadowy figure held me up, though I did not possess any coin. When the constable came, the thief claimed I was the culprit and disappeared into the crowd. Next thing I knew, I was being marched to the stocks. As a reward for your service, I would like to give you an old map that had served me well. However, that bandit made off toward the graveyard with it. If you can retrieve it, it might provide you with the answers you seek. Well, first off, sleep. And then we're going to have to buy food. Because we have none of that. And yeah, it closed when I left. Sleepy sleep. And then I gotta run off to the graveyard. And it's Shady Arley. We just let her run around the town. Unfortunately, we might have to go with Gruel. Or I could still that frog in there. I might do that. <laughs> I want him in a good mood. There's a... Why? Why is there always a fight? Make your food. Make your food. <sighs> this makes me hungry. And I don't know why. Because I never thought to eat frog soup. I'm not focused enough. Crap. Okay. Let's take care of some issues then. Let's do this. That'll help some. Make a bed. Warm hands. Finally. Now I can do it. Okay. We're gonna get job soon. So, that'll be a problem. I'm sure I can't fight and it's going to go terrible. Learn hot items and buy them. Okay, I can do that. And I can totally pay taxes. Um, is things going on here? Confront her. What business is it of yours, shopkeeper Mason? Perhaps I lightened that arrogant foreigner's pouches a bit, and perhaps I did not. Either way, I certainly have no intention of handing anything over to you, just because you asked. Certainly not for free. <sighs> I don't think I will win in force, but... It's pretty much the only hope I got. Okay. That worked. You touch your spruit. You may have won this round, but a lot of good that will do you. The only item I got was some incomprehensible map, and now it's yours. Enjoy your ill-gotten gains, shopkeeper Mason. Okay, well, unfortunately, we've got jobs to do. Let's to get today's market. And I'm not feeling great at all. It says I lost, but it also said I won. I'm confused. Grass, Swede, Weak, Curative, Tonic, and Eel. Okay. When are we going to level up? Soon! We're still pretty focused. We're still, we're not doing great. We're not doing horrible, though. Okay. Grassweed, weak, curative, tonic, and darn it, I ill. That's expensive, so we're buying one. We'll buy one of those because we already got some of those. Where's this tonic? Hmm. <laughs> 
Need to buy some more onions for food. Where's the... There we go. Super expensive. Totally broke. Done. We need to go home. And we bought the stuff. Good. There's a place for us to pay taxes, right? Yes. <sighs> All the money we don't have. Okay, make food first then. What are you making yourself though? Better be something good. I think that's a gruel. Why you make gruel? Whatever. Just eat it. Be miserable. I think gluttons. Gruel like makes them really upset. Because they're all about food and they want the best food. Now we pay taxes. Yay. Let's just get rid of this stuff. Check merchandise. Put this crap in there. I might as well try to sell it, but let's just go. Let's just do things. Okay. So, search for the Fountain of Legend. Here, I guess. Hey, it had high chances somehow. And apparently it's going to take forever. Okay. Speed this up. He is not feeling very great. Oh, I have to do this in the right order, I'm pretty sure. Crap. Okay. Thick forest canopy blocked. Thick forest canopy blocked shopkeeper Mason's view of the sun, leaving him aimless in the endless gloom. Finding the tallest tree, shopkeeper Mason slowly climbed its gnarled branches to perch in the sunlight above a sea of greenery. Sounds of a small stream echoed a short way to the west. While well, north, the thick wood thinned into the foothills of the majestic mountains. Well, it's um, a fountain, so maybe the stream? Which apparently was a very smart idea. Okay. The forest gloom gave way to a bright clearing ringed by, an anci by ancient trees. In the center of the glade, amid soft grass and wildflowers, stood an ancient fountain bubbling with sparkling clear water. As shopkeeper Mason gazed in awe, a familiar ethereal voice echoed throughout the meadow. You have passed the first trial in finding me, shopkeeper Mason. However, that is something anyone with enough determination or a map can accomplish. Before you can be remade, your devotion and need must be tested. Take a small portion of my essence with you, add it to the water of Westeros, and listen for your next trial. Okay. And he is uber hungry and uber tired. Following the stream steady, steadily uphill and selecting forks to fall at random, Shopkeeper Mason finally reached its source. A bubbling spring lay nestled in a small glade, tucked high in the foothills. While serene, the spring was far from legendary. Shopkeeper Mason decided to rest on the grassy banks before returning to check the numerous other tribu trib tributaries he had passed on the way. I got 20 experience and received refreshed. Awesome. Where's that? There it is. Okay. Still losing 10 focus from the fist fight and girl. <sighs> so, skin of fountain water. Okay. I'm supposed to go to the swell and fuse the town well water. Okay. Go. And then I guess we'll have to go home to make food because he is going to starve. a long way to this freaking well. 
Okay. Now I'm finally level 2, which slightly increased profit margin when buying and selling goods, slightly increased chance to convince items to purchase to convince Sims to purchase goods. Oh my god. Can use the ship to trade with other territories. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Move over. I am so not focused right now. Successfully medicated. Well, the fountain's essence is infused to westerous water. Now, how do I commune with it for my next trial from here? You commune by going home and eating. That's what. That's what we're doing. Onion soup. This guy's gonna get real tired of onion soup. It's better than gruel, though. He's so tired because he didn't sleep very well last night. Man, he's losing focus so hard. Quickly, eat. Okay, that helped a good bit, but... Obviously, we're going to have to go to bed really early. Maybe if he's well-rested. Everything will go better. <laughs> Chickens. I lost my phone. This quest is like taking forever, guys. <sighs> Which, if I remember right, the legendary quests do take kind of a long time because you're like they're giving you the legendary traits so of course they would want you to put forth a lot of effort please tell me I have more onions I have one more okay good because I'm going to need him to be focused I should just wake him up but it's like 4 in the morning that would be wrong Yay! Okay, good. Now, come in with the fountain. So, um... Town Square, I think, is where it is. Which is right here. Okay, then. <laughs> Listen to Echo. Wait, no. I commune. I see it now. Is that Shady Arley? Yes, it is. Back off from my well. I'm commuting with it. Okay. Faint at first, the ethereal voice of the fountain resonated deep from within the now sparkling wells to provide Shopkeeper Mason's next trial, that of devotion. Your determination has been proven, Shopkeeper Mason. Now your commitment to change must be weighed. Sacrifice that which you hold most dear as an offering to this well, and you shall be closer still to perfection. What a... Food? Girl, one sweet swordfish large for the offering. Where's a spit? I don't even... Would I have to buy one of those? Oh. Well. Okay. Let's go to the village shop and buy some food because we're running out of it. And we'll have to buy a swordfish anyway. Man, this is going to suck. That beautiful sweet swordfish that we won't get to eat. <laughs> I don't even see it. There it is. Oh, that's a lot of money. We're running out of money. <laughs> Some onions. Okay. While ambling down the garden street, shopkeeper Mason saw a great throng of people ahead. Approaching to investigate, he saw a strange small man hawking potions, calling out to the streets. Turtle's amazing potions, limited supply, fill the power of the watcher in every step. Shopkeeper Mason pounded if getting a magical potion from a mysterious man named Turtle was a good idea. Well, it's not, because it's a hundred smalls and we do not have that. Shopkeeper Mason continued on his way, content that he made the right choice, avoiding the little man named Turtle. 
Well, at least I won't ever know that I missed anything. Okay. Enter. And I guess by... I don't know what makes large. I'll have to probably look that up, I guess. But we're gonna have to buy spit anyway. And he will not enter. Or is it loading? Not really. Am I... I can't even... What? Go in. There! Finally! Okay, now we can buy stuff. With our no money. Maybe a spit isn't that much, though, hopefully. Mm. Domestic? Tch. Look at it. The cheapest one. 1,120 smalls. We have no money. No money. Okay, so, hopefully, we can sell some stuff today. <laughs> Because we've got, we've got all these great things that we just haven't sold. Ah, foot asleep. Super asleep. Who are you? Let's put her up. Because I'm going to need you to buy me Burr Thomas. Compliment his taste. Oh, well, okay. This guy apparently. Well, that worked. Let's chat with him then. Get to know. Why is Shady Arley here? Let's do a trait. Let's joke about the kingdom. Discuss artistic works. He's still not in there. It's still not enough. No, not romantic. Discuss adventures. Acquire one wood by trading and deliver to Carpenter. Oh my Jesus. So, we have to get on the boat today. Which sucks, because I have... I have a lot of... A lot of money to make here. This guy, finally. Okay. Now we're friends. Okay, great. These quests are so difficult. He bought crestweed for eight smalls. Okay, we're not getting any money. Okay, merchant. Better up. Talk about the kingdom. I need you to buy eel or something. She's not like me. This is going awful. Who are you? Reuben the Surf. Well, I need you to come here so that I may convince you to buy things. Friendly, get to know. Not romantic. Why do you keep going romantic? Just about peasants and nobles. I know you're gonna. We're gonna try to sell some stuff. Let's better him up. Will that work? Do impersonation. It worked. He likes us. This isn't awful. I feel like he probably has no money. Gossip. Good to know. I've heard the underspied Nicole has been secretly courting two people at the same time. I hope they don't find out about each other. <laughs> Still not wanting to buy goods. Tell a joke. <laughs> Talk about kingdom. This is not working. Disgusted kingdom. Your sin needs to establish a better. What the? Let's better him up again. 
Nope, oh, didn't work that time. Describe exotic locales. And artistic works. Oops. Apparently this guy does not want to buy our goods. There's nothing I can do. Because we are, we're pretty good friends and it's not letting me... It's not letting me convince him to buy something. And I'm about to starve. Okay, this is not working. But we are good friends with him. And maybe one day... He'll buy from us. Okay, I need to... Why are people always fighting here? <sighs> okay, well, Town Crier lost to Shady Arley. Get your suit. Because we have to go trading today, apparently. So you can't convince anyone to buy squat. Dogs. Okay, what are we gonna trade? What are we gonna trade? I have nothing. I have onions. Okay. Onions it is. Boom. Boom. Let's see how happy this makes them. Sell the trade. Okay. Let's send the ship. Do I have to go on the ship? Yes, I do. There's surface here already. My experience is going way up. I'm getting hungry. Better have some freaking wood. What the? You think it would tell me or something? Where is? Where is my wood? What? I saw. This doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. I did things. I I've had things to trade. I hit craft hole. Oh no, that's Tridoni. Let's try craft hole. Okay. They give minerals and ores. Ores. Mushroom. Oh, okay. I need two mushroom for wood. I see. I see. Okay. Well, this sucks, because we will probably never get this job done. Give me my onions. And I have to go home. And we have somehow made it to gold, though. Yay. And I have to eat. And then I have to hope that I can get two mushrooms before this freaking task ends. Make food quickly now. You better eat that stuff. Yay. Hey, it's so gross like. Then again, he is a glutton. It's so gross. I hate watching it. Okay. I 
freaking have no money for mushrooms or whatever. I should have looked what the other one was, but I was too engrossed in getting the freaking wood. <laughs> mushroom, 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 mushroom. Ah, there are thirty. Why? Wow. As Mason bit his way past the village market stalls, he stumbled upon a curious and suspicious cavalcade of traveling minstrels. A sprightly clothed jester skipped forward and offered to sell shopkeeper Mason a tangled sprig of fragrant, refreshing mystery herbs. Now, we will walk away. <laughs> no thanks to not shopkeeper Mason with a haughty wave of his hand. I don't eat herbs. Mason spun on his hill and with head held high strode off through the village, a glowing example of moral fortitude in the age of wantonness. Okay, that's great. I'm I need to No, not village docks. Cause we are freaking trading. Getting some wood. It's gonna take him freaking four hours to get here. Okay. Yes. I know kitty. Okay, let's give mushrooms. Yes. Now. Hurry. We must sell to trade to craft hole. I need wood. Uh, okay. Let's just do what... Let's just stay on course. I don't even feel like reading it. Mason, overrunning oh, on time. Mason forbade the crew from indulging in their mysterious island fantasy. He grabbed the wheel, and after a quick lecture on work ethic, my cat is trying to kill me. And focus steered the ship back on course. The crew was mightily impressed with Mason's take charge attitude and charisma. Okay. <laughs> we are so not doing the gems one. We are so not making the gems one. We probably won't even make the other one. Where is wood? Open cargo hold. Finally, wood. I'm inspired. Okay. Where'd I deliver? Said wood. Hurry! Wood, wood, wood. Hurry, deliver, 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 deliver. And it freaking ended as soon as I delivered the wood to him. <sighs> Life sucks. It sucks. So bad. He's just gonna go to sleep. He's not even worried about food. I feel like we need food first. <clears throat> anyway, I'm ending this part here. Because it is miserably failing. And we might not actually accomplish this stupid task. <laughs> but, um, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.